do you think that the greatest challenge in your country is? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, harsh question. <laughs> and uh, what do you think uh, the greatest challenge of Eastern Europe and Central Eastern Europe is? Hmm. I don't know. Ask him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Biggest problem. Maybe poverty? I don't know. Uh, I think that there is a lot of difference between the, uh, how do you say, the incomes, the money that you get paid, uh, between the upper and the lower class. Yeah, I think uh, money is not evenly uh, shared among uh, people, so you have a lot of uh, poverty and uh, some people are uh, too rich. Uh, you know, economy, economically, suddenly uh, a very thin uh, layer of social class uh, was getting real rich really soon, and uh, this whole uh, privatization uh, was not really going the way it should have gone. Uh, the real change has not occurred, I guess, after 1989, so it's like an underlying. Uh, you know, problems under the carpet that we say, okay, things have changed, but things have not really changed. All right, and uh, what do you think, how we could solve these problems? What is the first step we should make? Work together uh, very closely with the different governments of this region, uh, of this region, and work closely together and not trying to say, oh, you know, for example, Hungary, we're a country by our own and we're doing fine all by ourselves. So going together, Politically, most importantly, and not trying to get out of all these uh, wires would be very important, I think. So what, what do you think uh, this region has to has to be improved? This region? No, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's my first time here. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> so you don't, don't think anything has to be improved? Keep it like this. Alright, thank you very much.